What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode here on Shellback Toy Rewind. Today, we're doing an updated look at my carded figs. Uh, probably going to have to break this one up into multiple parts. Got a lot more carded figs to show off this time around. All right, let's go ahead and start off with one that I just showed in my last video. Uh, but no, it's actually one of my favorite ones. It's my Leonardo. I got my fan club flyer over here. And obviously on the right is the regular Leonardo or 10 back Leonardo without the fan club. But as you can see right there, it's got that fan club. Um, just wanted to go ahead and figure show them both at the same time. Um, this one over here is unpunched. It's got that KB sticker. Unfortunately, like a lot of these 10 back originals, he's getting some of that, uh, uh, what do they call it? The fog, the cloud, the white stuff all over the figure, but hey, it's still a 10 back, right? Anyway, these two carded figures are in pretty decent condition other than the fan club being punched. Um, but so as you can see here, um, this one tells you to join the fan club and then the other one has doesn't have that and just like smaller writing so that's the only difference between these two and for some reason I have two 10 back Mikey's uh, not that that's a problem or anything um, but over here on the left he is unpunched uh, looks like it could be a soft head I'm pretty sure it is anyway um, so that's cool no braided nunchucks or anything like that um, this one over here is unpunched, but it does have the KB sticker. Um, which, by the way, do you guys like having like a Toys R Us KB sticker on there? Or do you guys just like them um, like clean without sticker? Let me know down in the comments. As for me, I'm not really sure. I, I like them both, I guess. Um, and here I got my Donatello. Uh, doesn't appear to be a soft head. Um, looks shiny. Um, unpunched Donatello, though, so that's kind of cool. Um, pretty stoked to have this guy he was my second favorite turtle growing up strangely i don't have a 10 back Raphael at the moment uh and of course anybody that follows my channel they know i'm in the navy Woo! look at that flag boys um so pretty stoked to get this one i, I guess i kind of had to go ahead and get uh midshipman mikey just an all-around cool figure with some uh, Americana tied to it so always gotta love that look at these storage shelves back there you see Donnie's it's all like green in there it's kind of weird but yes a very cool figure and because most people don't watch these videos till the end I'll throw in some eye candy here towards the beginning got my sandstorm on card unpunched with that 198 sale sticker on there can you believe that this thing was under two dollars look at the detail on that rug that gun is so cool man i love these figures they are just so so cool and we got rock and roll mondo gecko over here uh man what can i say about this guy so much detail uh so much effort with this guy i thought it was really really cool had to get this guy on card uh sort of kind of unpunched up there with the sticker Definitely one of the coolest sidekicks ever uh, for that Mondo Gecko. Here is the back for Sandstorm. Um, I know this guy gets a lot of love, but I feel like he deserves a little bit more. It's got that slice and dice action. And over here, here is the back of Mondo Gecko. Uh, it's got the black and white, not the original back uh, card back for this guy, but I'll take it. All right, up next, we got one of the disguised turtles, Leo the Sewer Samurai. Uh, not one of my favorite uh, figures, but I just happen to be able to get this one on card for a good deal. I do know that Super 7 is coming out with an ultimate version of this guy, so that should be pretty interesting to see. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll pick it up, but you know, I probably will since I'm collecting most of the Super 7s. All right, and on to some of the best ones. Here is the first wave of Universal Monsters. I only have uh, Mike as the Frankenstein and Raph uh, as the mummy uh, for this line so far. Not the best condition cards ever, but hey, they're the Universal Monsters. So got the Universal ticket back there, so that's 
obviously really really cool look at this guy marked down 299 from whatever toy store he came from unfortunately not the unpainted chest version but i'll take it um, like i said not the best condition got a little uh, bend and wave and creases on the uh, frankenstein and same for the mummy but i did get these for some pretty decent prices so i can't really complain for what i paid for it on card some people were charging loose complete so hey it is what it is let's go ahead and move on to a wave that i have recently completed uh the military two line we got yankee doodle raf over here one of the most collectible lines that they have um very very cool figure a lot of accessories good detail um like many people say definitely never gonna get any figures like this ever again so um unpunched over here with the uh, kooky calvary leo a uh, new uh, fan favorite as of recently slight bend in the card over here as you can see a uh, pretty penny i paid for it down there on the bottom um, unfortunately, they put the Toys R Us sticker right across the face over here, but, you know, some people like the stickers, some people don't. At least it's a Toys R Us. This one over here doesn't have the sticker on the face, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, both of these are in fairly decent condition. Let's go ahead and move on to the next two in this line. Got a couple bangers here. Uh, we got Navy Seal Mike, who was real, real hot a couple months ago. Delta Don, who is now very, very hot, uh, very collectible. Got that Toys R Us sticker up there. Um, I got this one for a pretty good deal a couple years back. I think I paid $30 for it on eBay, so pretty stoked. It's actually in really decent condition. Uh, that sticker is sort of kind of coming off, but they're kind of all coming off. Over here, we got the Delta Team Don. Uh, like I said, a uh, very collectible figure because uh, I don't know why all of a sudden he just kind of came out of nowhere. Everyone wanted him, but I guess he's he's got a lot of accessories. Uh, another sticker on the face down there from Toys R Us. I still always find it funny how they put so much detail uh, on the uh, accessories for the pictures on the back. And then you get them and it's just like one color. Um, but hey, you know, whatever. But yeah, like I said... Uh, these guys are super, super collectible right now. I know uh, Mutant Collectors has about freaking 15 of these Navy SEAL mics. All right, moving on. We've got Pork Nose Bebop and uh, Dimwit Doughboy Rocksteady. All of mine are unpunched except for Private Pork Nose Bebop, but he's such a cool figure and kind of hard to find on cards. So, hey, I had to bite the bullet on that one. Over here, we've got Dimwit Doughboy, Rocksteady. Uh, surprisingly, these two figures aren't uh, as collectible as one might think yet. Uh, like I said, there's some more of that detail on the on the accessories on the back. Um, so I think it's like these are like the love it or hate it figures. I don't know. Uh, I really wasn't sold on them at first, um, but now I absolutely love them. Man, I wish they would have painted these things silver. That would have been super cool. But they didn't. They are just green. Just, uh, just green. And the other ones are yellow. Hmm. But that is the whole Military Mutant 2 line. All right, more fire. Here we go. We got Half Court. Man, that 1993. Oh, my God. They were, they were just clicking on all cylinders that year. This dude is incredible. Look at these dark gray accessories just amplifying how cool he is with that awesome, awesome sidekick, Rough the Ref. Um, with, he's got that extendable neck. Um, yes, there is a little bit of slight yellowing on the bubble uh, with this one, but I'll take it. I got a pretty decent deal with this guy. Um, like I said, he's got the uh, Rough the Ref. I wish they would have done that detail on him. That would have been super cool. And it's got the, like I said, the extending neck and uh, just an all around super, super cool figure. Absolutely love this guy. Great year for the figures. Let's go ahead and end this with some fire. Um, this is going to be part one, but here we got the Universal Monsters. 
This is the second series. Over here we have Wrath the Mutant. A lot of people ask me what my favorite figure from the TMNT line is, and uh, this is it, man. This one right here hits everything. Halloween, turtles, sci-fi. Uh, yeah, this one, that one is definitely my favorite figure from the entire line. Uh, this one also is uh, right up there. Uh, Leo Creature, or Creature Leo, whatever. Um, got the pink accessories with some styrofoam in there. I don't know how that got in there. But this card right here, um, not in the greatest condition. The mutant one definitely is in primo condition, which I am super, super stoked with. Got a great, great deal on this one. It also has the pink accessories, which I guess is the sought after one. Uh, so I've heard a um, lot of cool stuff here on the back, advertising, just all kinds of figures back here. All those ones that we should have bought and packed up, put away for a rainy day. But yeah, guys, these are some of my favorite, favorite ones. I mean, of course, everyone loves these ones. But uh, yeah, I mean, just like I said, hits on all cylinders for me. And yeah, I will eventually find a better version of Creature. Um, probably take this, this one out and get it graded eventually. Uh, but for now, I'm happy with it. It's on card and uh, got a good deal on it. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it for part one of my updated look at my carded figures. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you really liked it, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. That way YouTube will go ahead and let you know when I drop my next video.